After a day of tensions, a night of protests. This is Shufat, a Palestinian neighborhood in occupied East Jerusalem. Protesters took to the streets here against what they see as increasing Israeli aggression, lighting fires and setting off fireworks. The protests follow what the Israeli police are calling a hit-and-run terror attack. Investigators say a Palestinian man drove his car into a crowd of people waiting at a train platform in West Jerusalem, injuring several, some critically. A security camera captured the moment officers shot the man dead. He's been identified as Ibrahim al-Akari, who is widely reported as having connections to Hamas. Police say they shot him because he was trying to attack bystanders with a metal rod. In recent days, we have witnessed growing incitement by the head of the Palestinian Authority, President Mahmoud Abbas, including the sending of a condolence letter to the family of would-be assassin Yehuda Glick and calling to prevent Jews from visiting the Temple Mount in any possible way. This incitement has actual consequences on the ground. The ramming attack in Jerusalem is a direct result of the incitement by Abu Mazen Abbas and his partners in Hamas. We are in a continuous battle over Jerusalem, which I have no doubt we will win. The attack happened shortly after a violent confrontation between Israeli police and Palestinian protesters at the Al-Aqsa compound in occupied East Jerusalem. The fighting began after a group of far-right Israeli activists tried to enter the holy site. They were there as part of a plan to commemorate one week since a Palestinian man shot and wounded one of their leaders who has campaigned for greater Jewish access to the location. Police used stun grenades and tear gas to disperse the protesters and reopened the mosque compound to the public shortly afterwards. For the first time since 1976, Israeli police entered inside the Al-Aqsa Mosque. They had their shoes on and used their weapons. This is a dangerous escalation and gives us a bad indication for the future. There have been near daily confrontations between Palestinian protesters and Israeli police for months. And while access to Al Aqsa Mosque remains the main issue for most, Israel's support for settlers moving into neighborhoods in occupied East Jerusalem has only inflamed things further. This is the second car attack by a Palestinian driver in a week. And there are growing concerns that the increasing tensions between the Israeli authorities and protesters in the occupied East could lead to a new Palestinian uprising. Impiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, West Jerusalem.